Let's craft up a mirror frame. You'll need a mirror. This one is from Target. It was $7 and the link is in the description below. You'll also need Dollar Tree tumbling blocks, wood glue, black acrylic paint, some type of super glue, hot glue gun, scissors, and macrame cord. You'll start by painting all of your blocks black. You'll want to be sure to paint the front, the sides, and even the bottom. Once all your pieces are painted and dried, we'll move right into cutting up our macrame cord. You'll want to cut them small. They don't have to be even. These are the pieces that go in between each block to create a fringe look. We'll be making three different designs. The first design is all black. You'll glue together six different columns with 10 blocks in each. The second design looks like this. It goes fringe, block, fringe, block. You'll repeat this pattern all the way to the end and you won't add fringe to the last block. The third design is exactly like the second, only we add three extra blocks on the end, one on one side and two on the opposite end. To make the second and third design, you're gonna glue your cord right onto the block. I use between 11 and 13 pieces per block. Be sure to glue it close together to make a nice full look. Once your first row is complete, you'll glue the next block right onto the macrame cord. Now you'll cut the cord and I found if you want it fluffier, you can leave the cord longer. I wanted mine shorter which made it also easier to open up. You can use your finger to fluff it out with or a comb. Now you'll just continue gluing the same pattern, block, fringe, block, fringe. Once all your columns are complete, we're gonna start to glue it onto the frame. We'll glue the sides on and the top middle part first. Remember the top middle part and the bottom middle part have the three extra blocks on them. You'll want to use your stronger super glue to attach the blocks onto the mirror frame. Be sure to line up the middle and the side so it's a straight even line. This is what your pattern should start to look like. You have the black with the fringe, and then the solid black, black with fringe, solid black, black with fringe, then solid black. When you get to the bottom, you'll make a smaller version of design two. You'll repeat the same pattern to the opposite side, and there you have it. Your newly framed mirror. I love how this piece came out. It gives you a modern feel with the solid black wood and then boho vibes with the macrame fringe. Well, I hope you all love this and definitely give it a try. Team, Team Gravy, making things easy.